Hi everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video comparing and contrasting two makeup brushes made by It Cosmetics. They are both used for the same purpose and one is the Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush from It Cosmetics and the other one is the It For Ulta Airbrush Dual Ended Flawless Compact complexion brush. This one is number 132 and this one is number seven. And they're both designed and made by It Cosmetics. The difference is, is that this one was made specifically to be sold at Ulta stores and this one is sold just it's just It Cosmetics. And I wanted to share these brushes with you because this is a brush that I wanted for a very long time. I've seen people use it and it always just looked amazing. They'd apply their foundation, flip it over, get the concealer in the little nooks and crannies, and it just seemed so smooth and flawless that I really wanted this brush. And I have a lot of points at Ulta right now, so I was able to cash in some of my points and get this brush. It does retail for $48, so it's a pricey brush for sure. This one is $34, the one that's made for Ulta, and I think that that's a considerable price difference. It's not just a couple of dollars, it's almost $15. So being such a big difference in price, I thought that I'd like to compare and contrast them for you. And I also wanted to have a backup of this brush, but I didn't want to spend the $48. So I chose this one for $34. So they are both made with synthetic fibers, and I really like that because if a brush is made with real animal hair, hair has pores in it and it can absorb your foundation into the hair and it makes it harder to clean and you lose foundation. You know, you kind of waste product because it's being absorbed into the hair. So I like that they are both synthetic fibers and I also like that they are cruelty free and vegan. So that's some similarities. And like I said, they're both used for the same purpose. They look essentially the same. So now let's talk about some differences. Um, so this one, as you can see, is a little more luxurious in appearance. It's got the metal on the ends, and then it's got sort of like um, a, a rubbery grip here. So when you're holding onto the brush, you your fingers won't slide around. You know, it's got a good good kind of rubber grip here. And on this one, the entire brush is made of plastic. Even this part that looks different slightly, it isn't made of the same rubber. As you can see, it's still kind of shiny plastic. I don't find that to be a problem gripping onto this brush. My fingers don't slide around or anything like that, but it is, this one is made with a little more expensive materials and you know, it's just a little, little hardier. The two brushes in size are essentially exactly the same. The black one, the It For Ulta, as you can see, is slightly fluffier than the It For Ulta, I mean, the regular It Cosmetics brush. So this one is a little bit fluffier, as you can see. And I don't know that it's got more fibers in it or if it's just they spread out more from use. I have used both of these brushes a handful of times with different foundations. I've been alternating them every other day. And um, I'll tell you some things that I noticed when I was applying different foundations with these brushes as I apply my foundation. So uh, those are the similarities and the differences just right off the bat. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and apply an It Cosmetics foundation, a really popular one that most of you probably have just for the sake of something familiar. And I will come back with some final thoughts. You want to play. Candy wants to play. I know, I know, it's so boring watching me make videos, isn't it? Let me just finish this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with the Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush number seven on the left side of my face. 
and I'm going to use the It For Ulta Airbrush Dual Ended Flawless Complexion Brush number 132 on the right side of my face. I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics CC Cream SPF 50. This foundation has been around for a really long time and I just got a fresh new tube the other day because Sephora was having a 20% off sale on all of their foundations. It's over now, but this goes on sale all the time on the IT website in QVC and various places. So I've got my fresh new tube. I've got it primed already, so I don't have to um, pump it a million times. And you've all probably seen this foundation before. You may have all tried this foundation before. So I thought that it would be a great foundation to do this demo for because it's an IT foundation and I'm using the IT brushes. And I believe this is probably the most commonly used foundation from it. As I'm aging, I'm finding that I'm liking this one more and more. Over the past several years, I've only used it during the fall and winter months when my skin is a bit drier. So, um, but as I'm getting older, I think that I'll eventually be able to use this foundation all year round. And I do like that it has the high SPF in it. So I'm just picking up some of the foundation with the It For It Cosmetics brush. The one that is $48, <laughs> a little bit high. And I'm applying it only to this side of my face. I'm gonna put my mirror on the magnifying side. One thing I do notice about this brush, since I've had it and I've used it with many foundations, drugstore, um, high-end, I've tried serum foundations and I've tried thicker consistency foundations like this one. And I'll tell you what I've noticed is that the thicker the foundation, you have to work with the brush to prevent streaking, where I don't experience that really at all when I use my Real Techniques brushes like these, um, my Amazonian clay brush from Tarte, my Oval 7 brush from Artis. They're more dense, where this one's a little softer, and you do see some streaking as you're applying your foundation, whereas with those other brushes, I never see streaking. But I notice that only with the thicker foundations like this one. But as you can see, as I buffed, the streaking went away. So it does airbrush like it claims to do, and it does get that streaking out, you know, okay? So that's one side of my face using the It Heavenly Luxe Complexion Brow. Now I'm picking up some foundation with the It For Ulta brush, which retails for $34. And they feel basically the same. This one I think has softer bristles. It's a little bit softer than the other brush, not as dense. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you like a really soft brush, then you'll really like it. But if you like a more dense brush, then you will prefer this one. It's just ever so slightly more dense. For the cost difference, I don't think it's that noticeable. Okay, and now I'm just doing the exact same thing with this brush. Again, I am noticing that with the thicker consistency foundations, this one also has a slight bit of streaking right out of the gate, but it does um, quickly dissipate, or is that even the right word? It quickly goes away. You can get rid of the streaking very easily by buffing. I do like the way these brushes feel on my skin. They're very soft. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of the Bye Bye Under Eye from IT. This is their concealer and both of the brushes have the concealer end. And as you can see, the one from Ulta is a little bit fuller than the one from IT. Well, they're both from IT, but IT for IT and IT for Ulta. This one's fluffier, this one's a little more dense. I'm just taking a bit of the Bye Bye Under Eye and applying that 
onto my finger. This is a thicker, more concentrated concealer. And I only use this when I'm really experiencing some discoloration on my under eyes because it is a thicker concealer. If you struggle with dark under eyes, then you um, would really like this. It doesn't get in your fine lines and wrinkles or cake up. It's a really great concealer. I've been using this for a really long time. Like I said, just on the days where I really need more coverage. Okay, I'm going in on the left with the It from It and the concealer end. And the claim is that it gets into the tiniest pore and really makes an airbrush finish, just like the foundation brush does. go around my nose with that too. I really do like the way that it looks, the finish of my foundation and my concealer. Now I'm just doing the other brush. And this one does feel softer. Neither of them are uncomfortably stiff or anything like that. They're softer than any other foundation brushes that I have. So there's, it's not uncomfortable at all. And it does just give you like that flawless, that flawless finish. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in really close to look at the foundation before I put on the rest of my makeup. It for Ulta, $34. And it for It Cosmetics. $49. I can tell you by looking in the mirror that this one, the less expensive brush, does seem to um, give a slightly more flawless look. It really just buffs everything in. It looks, it does look very flawless. This one, I feel like I need to do a slightly more blending with this one, maybe because the brush is a little more dense and less fluffy. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. If both of these brushes stand the test of time, meaning that both of them will last me years and years, then this one is the one that I would recommend. I don't really notice much difference at all with the application of all kinds of foundations, whether they are a serum, kind of runnier foundation, or a thicker foundation, matte foundation versus luminous foundation. I've tried them all, and the things that I notice, I notice between both brushes. Like I said, when it's a thicker consistency foundation, they do streak a little bit right out of the gate, but it's very, very easy to remedy. And I don't notice that with other foundation brushes that are more dense. These are very, very soft. So I think that might just be par for the course with an airbrush finish that it's going, you need to just kind of work it a little bit more. Um, I don't find that it adds anything to my, the time that it takes me to apply a foundation. And I really like that I can just kind of like normally just apply my foundation, flip it around, because what I typically do is apply my foundation all over my face and I use this end for around my eyes. I do usually apply foundation to my eyes, but I already had my eye makeup on when I applied my foundation for you. So I didn't use it the way I typically do. The process of applying foundation goes quicker because I have both tools on the brushes. And that's what I really wanted when I decided to get this brush was that I wanted that kind of ease of use and not have to get it, stop, get a different brush and so on. So anyway, if I were to recommend either of these brushes to you, I would say get the It for Ulta because it is almost $15 less expensive and I think that that's considerable 
for um, for what you're getting. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little comparing and contrasting the two brushes. Are, do you own either of these brushes? Do you think you would like to get either of these brushes? And I wanted to tell you that if you do decide to get one of these brushes and you need the foundation to, or a it foundation to, go to QVC, or the IT Cosmetics website because they have deals where it's less expensive to get the foundation and the brush together as opposed to going to like Sephora or Ulta and getting them that way. And they do sell this brush also on the IT Cosmetics website, not just at Ulta, if that makes any sense. So, and I'm not sure about QVC, but anyway, they want us to buy their brushes, so they're going to make it easy for us, right? All right, well, thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.